What's up YouTube and welcome to my quest to find the best barkeep deck in Legends of Runeterra. So the obvious choices for building barkeep decks would be Shadow Eyes Control, something a little like this right here, or Ionia Control, something a bit like this. But both of these concepts have already been tried and tested and while they were playable they weren't really strong or competitive. So my idea was what if some other region combinations have been overlooked, what if there are some competitive barkeep decks with other card packages that might actually be strong. And I came up with a couple of creative brews, most of them were very fun to play, they had different power levels and the first one I want to present to you is a barkeep Noxus deck. The idea here is you still play a control package but you play Noxus removal instead of Shadow Isles and Ionia removal. Um, idea is the Noxus removal is super duper mana efficient, a lot of cheap cards that do a lot of damage and we can deal with single units, even big units, through cards like Disintegrate or Scorched Earth as well as a lot of small units with Death Lotus, Blades Edge and so on. We can be pretty greedy in building this deck super removal heavy because back alley bar and back alley barkeeper is all the top end we need. We did add some Pharos Financiers and some Piltoven Tilestones to potentially find some more draws if we ever do get stranded or we low roll the barkeeps or something like this. For champions we use Victor of course because he's super beneficial for the created card synergy with back alley bar as well as barkeep. Also can be a win condition on its own. Vi as some sturdy removal as well as board control tool. And I like to splash a Katarina in there for Blades Edge generation as well as a potential pressure tool with the rallies and fleeting blade edges. And if you want to see this list in action, here is a pretty cool gameplay example from my stream over at twitch.tv slash freshlobstercg. Is it the Mustache? Who knows? And then it was just like Rikorex, Batch Attack, Mogwai and me just trading bars. And Mogwai was way too drunk and just running out of time the whole time was roping the rap battle basically. He's a bit too easy to pick off for my taste, but it is a two drop. We can with that not get any stream. You got one stream. And I tried I tried, trust me, I tried to get the people to stream. But I was literally the only one that was somewhat enthusiastic about it. I think it's pronounced by attack. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh wait, this thing is literally spitting bars. Damn, dope. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. You were gonna stream the whole shebang? I hate uh, I did so too, but we like the biggest problem was we didn't have a proper setup. And I was the only one who was uh, caring about setting something up, but I didn't really have the right equipment. The biggest issue is it was like, we were like nine people, right? So we can't really all huddle at one PC and do a Legends of Runeterra stream. So we considered just streaming, I don't know, like Smash Bros or Jackbox from the living room. But then we need like a completely different setup. I'm scared of Sermon next turn. Can't really do much about it though. So we didn't have a capture card or anything to capture the, the actual screen of the beamer that we were all playing on. Okay, this is definitely Sermon. Um, I think playing this is more important than it insta-attacking here. I mean, Ice-T sounded like he was gonna buy one anyway, or like maybe he even has one but didn't bring it with him, something along those lines. Stop right there, my friends. Uh, 
Like Noxus P and Z removal just feels a bit too fair, like a bit too overpriced compared to all the broken stuff that you can currently do in this game. Make it rain? I am a confused. This is so risky by my opponent, knowing I play Blades Edge and Static Shock, like they've seen those cards already. In other situations, Rake is nuts, but my Vi is about to die. Not having any healing in this region combination sucks a bit as well. Scott with new Vi? Yeah, maybe. Song Spinner? Well, yeah, and Bar Keeps, I guess. Song Spinner turn. If that whiffs, we go Aftershock into Flock. Doesn't have to be Song Spinner to be honest, could just be Barkeep. Now nah, Song Spinner is more fun. There we go. Oh damn, it's not enough, is it? When is Flock so weak? Hey. Stand and fight. Oh, so Juan is furious, Gary. Okay, 5 HP, hold. Hold. Arrowing only revives a bunch of garbage at this point, right? Big attack. This doesn't look like it's gonna be lethal. Ooh. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. Just hit your healing, I suppose. Honestly, harrowing is probably the discard here. Ah, oh, it can resummon bar keeps though. Spider? Or is it harrowing after all? I guess it could also just be weapon. He would doggo doggo. This into end round, I think. There, uh, they seem to be holding back a gangplank. Next turn, I can mist into flock. Ooh, okay, works. Gimme, gimme that plunder. Where's the good stuff at? Ah, oh, that's not good. I am reborn of salt and pride. Neither the 
flames nor the dead can claim me. Okay, they have warning shots, so I'd rather miss here. Like, if I missed here, they don't get it on the Gangplank passive, but they just stop the drain with a warning shot. We know the value of coin. Do you know, know the value of coin? Is it just harrowing time? Get a couple of barkeeps in hand? Or develop and draw. Heck, freaking W. Oh, too expensive this round, though. Block to cre free up one more hand space is probably bad, though. Sejuani Fort Freeze. We have a good chance of taking out Sejuani if we found any damaging spell. I mean, even after a shock into Flock, just, <clears throat> just works. Only the strong okay. Well, we can buff these three. It's kind of forced, isn't it? We already took out two Gangplanks. Let's hope for the best. We need them to commit the pre uh, freeze pre um, pre attack basically. Wait, but I already. Oh yeah, this is discounted by Victor. Right, right, right. Oh shit, it doesn't work because of combat rear. Oh no, I missed it. Well, it still kind of works, right? Wait, I don't think this attacks. We want this guy to be um, to still give us the discounts after combat. The human mind takes time. Like even though he would push a bit of damage, I think the discount's more important. Use reforge for buff. No, because uh, our opponent is gonna freeze. Why are you at three? Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Oh, you think you can swarm? No, we do the unfair zero mana swarm. Um, let's do this first. Then predict. Oh. Yeah, no, I think we want to have Victor as a unit though. Predict into draw. And beam for a champion is good. Brilliant design. Genius in action. Another brilliant design. Um, there's not much of an upside left in keeping this in hand. Might as well just play it. Freeze up hand space if we find more bar keeps. That Vi was already frozen once. True, true, true. Sure. I can't play anything because I need to be able to take do take out like Gangplank or Sejuani. Guess I could play Hookmaster here. Strong. 
Resolve doesn't look too bad. I kind of want to bait like a make it rain or party, I think, with Resolve. Try to sermon this. There we go. Good thing we kept the resolve though. Down to one card in hand. Easy lifesteal roll. Oh damn. They get another bar bar keep, we might be in for for some trouble. Um we can get that off of our own unit, put overwhelm here, but we still need a lot more damage for that to be lethal. Start off with freeing hand space. We iterate this and we have a full hand. Yes, of course. Yeah, you don't Jesus, want stop nabbing already. <laughs> what is this even? Oh shit, I think we're dead to Mystic Shot here. Well, nothing we can do about that. Here goes nothing. Another brilliant design. Oh, never mind. Out of burn mana. Um, is this already lethal? I mean, we can just go like this. Ingenious. We can ram stands. Haha, <laughs> good one. Uh, I mean, plus two plus two is strictly better. I, I forgot. Oh wait, he can have flock. Uh, he can have yonked flock. I actually, uh, yeah, yeah, could have played this turn better. Did that to Mystic? No, they overrode uh, back alley bar. So miss. Actually, did they have black market merchant on board? I don't quite remember. Uh, GGs. So the Noxus version felt the most fun out of all the decks that I've tried, but it also felt like it might have been the weakest out of the three. Like, it did feel viable, and you can surely climb with it if you're good at playing it, but the deck felt a bit too fair compared to most of the other really broken and unfair things that most other meta decks can do right now. So I went on and the next deck I tried was a Bandle City Brew. This one also plays Victor and Vias champions. We're not using the third champ slot because none of the Bandle City champs fit really well and cards like Caitlyn or something like that don't really make too much sense. Instead we play a bit more removal early units as well as card generation. That is basically the core of this deck. The idea is kind of similar to what we did in the Noxus pile. We play mostly very cheap cards cards, very early game focused and removal heavy. Uh, but here we can find space to fit some of the discard package, which is very synergistic with the deck. Uh, boom 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 generating Flame Chompers, which we can discard with cards like Poro Cannon. Poro Cannon gives us elusive blockers or attackers, but simultaneously levels Victor very quickly. The discarded Flame Chompers is just great against early aggression or even for a big power play. For example, Flame Chompers can pull aside an Overwhelm blocker if we do find an Overwhelm keyword on Victor. Conchologist is an absolutely nutty card in this deck. 
the cheap spells of both Piltover and Zon and Bandit City are super duper strong on average. Yordle Squire is a great card generator as well as early blocker, can potentially also be used as discard fodder, and uh, the Battle City removal is actually really nice and synergistic in this one. Pokey Stick uh, gives us draw as well. Wallop is a very cool option to start the game for a bit, Mini Morph as potential hard removal, and Some Fumes is a really cool card in this one as well because we do generate a lot of cards off of the Bandit City cards, and that also ensures that we don't really run out of value in the early game or if we whiff on the bar keeps. So if you want to see this deck in action, here's another cool gameplay example. Also wondering if there's ever a Freljord version of this that, that is good. But like Ice Shard, Avalanche, Ravine all doesn't really make too much sense, right? We're hurting our own board. Oh wait, I don't have Thermal Beams in this. Damn it. Get excited. Could be good. Bring a thermal all you need. But uh, thermal is also nice against pirates and the likes. So it's probably two of. Probably Reggie down to one copy. Or pathways can also be cut. Both are kind of cool. All three are actually cool. But against an elusive deck, sure. Oh no, not one damage. Music always banging, of course! I mean, I still think it uh, like divides opinions quite hard. I think a lot of people actually click onto the stream and then run away. I'm not sure if I should care about it. Push damage and trade. Oh, let's play so much into TF. What have I done? Okay, not that far on Nami level up progress. Okay, we just bought Victor here. Victor into Vi kind of shuts down there. Nami next turn. Not really. They can still Nami plus Homecoming, but never lost a fair game or played one. Okay, they're not going for Nami at all. It seems. Okay, they don't really run pinks besides red cards. Okay, can just take five. Yes, of course. Analyzing a Tough swinging them big fists around by. Stick around. I'll show you. Into end rounds. Okay, now it gets interesting, depending on what our opponent's hand looks like. We may or may not be in trouble. That probably spells trouble. They don't have Momentous Choice activated. Um, also, we're not sure what kind of version they're running. Maybe they play Sonic Waves. There's so many ways we can block here. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Um, I guess this one stays unblocked. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. Go by Shelly. Pathways is a bit expensive here. The pathways will get the discount. Ok, 
Okay, what do we do next turn? I think we have to play Conchologist this turn, right? Next turn is probably just back Ali Bar. Sumpwork's map is a consideration here, but right now our opponent has no elusives. Save one mana by playing Conch next turn. Yes, but uh, top decks and random pulls, right? We play a lot of two drops in this deck. is this okay left watching the IRL video which IRL video do, me, do you mean me uh, maybe they'll tap under hoggers day is kind of hot mini morph is probably best I mean we have pathways as well as this To Sunny just to be M. Hey, totally worth it. Best five dollars of my life. Oh, the drunk stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was epic. Mm, good chance that Chell survives here, and like it could be no fire twin disciplines. Maybe a random ass momentous choice. Give it all as potential lethal. I mean, we probably win on our next attack anyway. We just kind of need to survive here. Or rather, surviving is more important than winning, in my humble opinion. Danger of TF level? Not really. much always playing this right might as well take a look we find a wall up we don't this feels a bit better Downside is we give them red cards. Oh, no mana for Stand United. Homecoming this onto Victor, probably. Okay. Okay, I kind of got to try to win next turn. Uh, not necessarily, I guess. If we remove TF, we're also fine. Spicy. Has to be the play, right? Looks better than Victor. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, interesting. I think it's play this full swing. Got this from a side quest. I don't do meditation. Could 
poke first and see what happens. Giga chat plunder borrow. Maybe you should mystic shot right now. Hmm. Let's have one card in hand. Ooh. Base draw. I kind of like Mystic shot my own Poro here. Obliterate? Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you, Twitch chat. Save my ass again. <laughs> this is so giga busted with Victor. Um... And round? No, 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 we always greet here. Oh, we have TF removal in hand, kinda. We can transform our Poro into another copy. Or anything, really. Honestly, I think there is something to the Battle City version of this deck. Valuing Nami TF, let's go. Ah, yes. So this deck was super fun to play as well and felt a bit stronger than the Noxus version, just because we have more value generation uh, with all of the Bandit City cards as well as some more consistent removal with mini morph and stun options with wallop and so on. Nonetheless, the deck also didn't feel top tier. I think it's not as strong as the most common piles like uh, Shadow Isles Control and Ionia Control that I highlighted in the intro. So I kept on searching and the next deck I came up with was a Targon pile. Now this has also, this is not quite on the low low. This has been tested by a couple of players and all of the builds do look slightly different. The cool upside here is that we don't only have to play Victor and Vi. Aphelios is also a great option here and very synergistic with Victor as well as the back end bar because of course generated card and a lot of new cards that have not seen play yet so they will usually get heavy discounts the other big upsides is the invoke package which also generated cards for victor but at the same time we can always pick new cards that we have not played yet and back alley bar will discount them so we play a fair amount of the invoke package in trifecta star shaping priestess uh, spacey sketcher but we don't want to go too heavy on it because it is low tempo to invoke cards and they do give us high value cards and back alley bar keep as well as back alley bar already try to do that right they're our value generation tools so we don't want to get too greedy with invoke spells otherwise our hands are just going to be super clunky but this region combination also allows for a lot of early good tempo cards like dustbringer like mountain goat they generate discard fodder again synergistic with poro cannons on it urchin and so on and we 
play a couple of combat tricks as well as removal. Another card that's really cute in here is Suppressible. We do play a lot of different cards to maximize the benefit of back alley bar. So we have a lot of new cards that we have not yet played this game that will get the back alley bar discount once it's on the board. And again, I have some nice gameplay that I want to share with you. Celestial Impact Greater Sunburst. It unironically might be in a weird way. Oh, I want Sunburst. Give me Sunburst. Could keep double victory. The first one always dies. Too greedy though. Going to Nora at the moment. But Nora and... Um... Barkeeps don't really have synergies. I will die when I am ready. Onwards. Are you just like desert do it? Your look inspires me in which way? Fault and I've been letting my beard grow larger. Let's go. It's the way to do it. I can play Immortal Fire turn 7. Living Legends is kinda tempting. I think this is pretty good in this matchup. Crescent Strike. Oh, yeah. He has a zero cost charger. They don't run pings. It's not too bad. Scared of Pantheon on the open attack. Did it one Yordle portal and suddenly dropped me into nothing? Not the Barky. I mean, do I just yeet this guy back to the top of the deck? Challenger overwhelm. Oh, I missed playing the charger last round. I don't know about this one. I mean, next time he'll open attack me, so this is the best chance I get. Just wish I had actual removal for him. Something like a sunburst or a comet. In these types of matchups, the Noxus deck is actually better, isn't it? Turbo for seven? What does that do? We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Night flowers upon my blade. Let's go. This was GG. Didn't they remove Scout from the Pantheon pool? Bleak, we must. To death I go. Robin blind. You cannot hold us down. We will resist.
I don't really see win conditions. Easy Comet. Bask in her radiant blessing. What's it like to be so talented at the video game? I mean, all the talent in the world doesn't save us here, though. I'm pretty sure we still lose. Like, Deny, they could play cards like Hourglass. They can definitely have more Pantheons. Deny? They mean right of negation. Sharima deny. Ooh. Winnable? Is this the face of fear? Can't swing into quicksand here. Oh, now we can swing. Imported poke damage. Next Pantheon can get shot by Thermal Beam. I am ready. Back heretic. Actually win a bit? What is going on here? the strike effect coming. This is crazy, it's actually a winnable. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have a one shot here? It's one, two, three on the augment. This one's eight, 16. Ah, oh, we're one off. Close enough. How scared am I of quicksand? I don't mind losing Victor here, right? To a quicksand. But also just value trade. We're fine. A great mind must never idle. What decks have I tried so far in this mission? Um, this one and a Noxus version. Julani is incoming. We can beam her though. Shadow Isles? I mean, Shadow Isles and Ionia are the two obvious ones, right? I just try to find something spicier.
This should be GG. I firmly believe so. In the rare case of a double quicksand, will this asunder? And we have Talisa. GG's. So again, a very fun and flexible list, very versatile. And I was surprised by how much tempo this could put out early on as well. Sometimes you can win some games by just smorking down, by rushing down your opponent. Also, the flexibility that Invokes and the Felios provide is insane. You can find a lot of healing as well as lifesteal weapon against aggro matchups, but also try to finish the game earlier with, for example, Overwhelm weapon on Vi. And of course, discounted big Celestials can be super strong. One of the big issues that I had with this deck is that it's lacking consistent heart removal. So for value engines that our opponent might have, or like key carry cards like Lee Sin, like a Viego that is protected by right of negation or deny, like a Nami, our removal is very clunky slow and sometimes hard to find right stuff like falling comet or supernova we need to invoke first we need to hit first and it's very expensive and does get countered by much cheaper cards so this deck feels like it could be the strongest barkeep deck or one of the strongest versions out there at least but it's very meta dependent as well so it's very polarized in depending on what decks you run into so it should do pretty well into most aggro decks very fast decks just because it can keep up in tempo and then out value in the late game but it does struggle a bit against those types of combo decks and i don't think a copy of hush or something of the likes would be enough to flip those matchups around so out of the three decks that i tested this is probably the strongest barkeep deck but overall i do think that still the the Ionia version is going to be strongest. If you want to play a back alley bar deck, but your main goal is to climb and you want to do so consistently, the best option might be a deck like this one. This is by What Am I, who was a top four player at the World's Championship, one pro from North America who I very much trust the deck building. And he's not even main decking back alley bar keeps. He's just playing the bar as a landmark in combination with Victor and Karma to discount all of the cards in the deck. And of course, some value generation from the bar keeps that you do generate. You can, of course, squeeze some bar keeps in there maybe even iterative improvements that arguably makes the deck a little bit worse maybe more fun so it depends on what your goal is if your goal of course is to have just as much fun as possible another option you could try is this barkeep printer deck by fellow youtuber sunny who recently posted a video on this this just tries to maximize the copies of back alley barkeep you can get with Callista reviving them i link his video as well as all of the deck codes and mobilitics pages for those decks in the description well, i hope this video was fun i also hope this video was helpful if you are considering playing some barkeep decks i do think these are all of the best options currently running around and it kind of just depends on what your goal is trying to be as competitive as possible or trying to have as much fun as possible so good luck and happy high rolling with whatever you try